Well, a Corning gym teacher and five of her students are going bald for pediatric cancer. WENY-TV's Laura Queso tells us it's a cause that's close to the teacher's heart. Trisha Sugars, a phys ed teacher at Severn Elementary, has been motivating kids on the court for years. And today, she's motivating them to join the fight against childhood cancer at this year's St. Baldrick's event. And there's not a lot of money that's given to childhood research, and the kids are our future. Trisha and her students are doing it for Loretta Detola and Zach Spaulding, two children living with brain cancer. They're turning heads and they're motivating people to shave their heads. Well, there's these kids that have cancer and their hair falls out sometimes and um, I'm going to shave my head so they don't feel left out. With all the money I've raised, it can help a lot with all the doctors, researchers and to find a cure. And so far, she's $3 short of hitting the $2,000 mark. I know that if it was one of my children, I would want my colleagues or friends to help me out to help find a cure for my son or daughter. Loretta's mother, Jill, is a teacher at Severn. Some of her students are excited, some a bit nervous. No big deal. Uh, it's just kind of fun. I've always had hair on my head. I've never been bald. I've never had the feeling. I think I'll be really good at it. And I think we can all agree that Caitlin will be good at it too. It's just hair and it'll grow back. In Corning, Laura Queso, WENY TV News. That's right, it's just hair, isn't it? Well, way to go, kids. And the St. Baldrick's event is Sunday, March 17th at the Radisson Hotel in Corning. For a donation link, just go to our website and click on this story.